Well, after retaking the House of Representatives, congressional Democrats are feeling newly emboldened about rolling back the Second Amendment. Early this year, California Democrat Eric Swalwell called for confiscating all so-called assault weapons, scary-looking rifles, and bringing criminal charges against anyone who resisted. We're not misquoting that. He wrote it in an op-ed in USA Today. Then just days ago on Twitter, one critic said this would provoke armed resistance against the government, because obviously it would. Swalwell responded this way, quote, it would be a short war, my friend. The government has nukes. In other words, obey or we'll kill you. Jamani Williams is a New York City councilman who joins us tonight. Mr. Williams, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me. So there's something admirable about the straightforwardness from our old friend, Congressman Swalwell. If you don't obey, we'll just kill you. What do you think of that? Come on, Tucker. We, have to, <laughs> we all have to get to a place where we can have a conversation about what's happening in this country yeah. and have a respectable one. So, Do you think threatening people with violence is a good way to get to that? that no, place? I don't think that's a good way to have a conversation, nor do I think uh, having a conversation about guns not being part of the problem is a good way to have a conversation. So well, we, should, we should start with guns are a part of the problem and figure out how to deal with it. Okay, but when a sitting U.S. And by the way, we've at, we know Swalwell very well. Sure. And I personally like him. We asked him to come on to respond directly. Um, I should say that. But when a sitting U.S. congressman says, you know, if you, just don't, if you don't like it, if you're going to resist in any way, we'll just drop nuclear, your nuclear weapons on you. We don't even threaten our, our martial enemies with that. I mean, that's a bit much, no? Well, of course, I was remiss, you know, prayers and peace of comfort for the victims of the Chicago mass shooting. Uh, but like uh, the mother of a victim that happened in California who said she was tired of uh, prayers, she wanted action, we have to have actionable items. And so I don't consider nukes on people who have guns, an actionable item. But there are actionable items. And so you are the moderate for the first time. And I don't know I'm about the moderate. Well, you're against killing American citizens. So, that, I, so if that that's a moderate... The, that puts you in the moderate category. <laughs> so let me just ask you this. So here's my confusion. I have no problem trying to disarm people who are threatening. The problem I have with gun confiscation is that it punishes people like me who pose no threat at all, and many millions of other Americans who have no criminal record, no intent to harm anybody, want guns for self-defense... And it says to them, you're a criminal now because you have a but gun that we think you scary. have jumped to confiscation. Well, but no, Eric Swallow, who's on, who's a member of the Intel Committee. Is a but, powerful but we should have a conversation about one. Is there an issue with guns in this country? And what do we do with that? And the okay. actionable items are quite clear. Um, one, we can address loopholes and assault weapons and high capacity magazines. Two, we can deal with uh, dealers who have been unscrupulous. Okay. And three, we can begin to treat guns like we do cars. That's just on the demand side. No, but, but, no, but okay. I mean, on the look, supply I'll address side. That. I mean, it has look, to be on the demand you side You have members well. of Congress, at least one prominent member of Congress, saying we're going to take your guns away by force, okay? So apparently you're not calling for that, though. We both know you're secretly for that. But would, We don't both know that, but okay. Okay, but I believe you're, I believe you're for that. I believe you many can believe what you like. I'm here to have a discussion. Are you for that? On the issue? No, listen. Good. Let's have a, we should have a discussion. Okay, then let's talk about magazines. Sure. You say high capacity. I think it means any more than 10. Mm -hmm. I... If I have a magazine that has 15 round capacity, why is that a threat to anyone? We have to start with, and I'm repeating this again, with everyone agreeing that guns and the access to guns are an issue well, in this Well, how about country. this? I don't agree with that. You and do not. I think a gun is As a I'm, tool, and in sure. the hands, like any tool, in the hands of someone with malintent, it's very dangerous. So I, I don't have malintent. So would I be forced to give up any magazines that I had that exceed I will, the I will say this. If, if a hammer killed 33,000 Americans every single year, we would be screaming and yelling, let's regulate hammers. Guns are only made for killing. What I'm saying is let's at least treat guns how we treat vehicles. But you're speaking theoretically. I am I not. I want to speak tangibly. I'm speaking specifically. So there are millions upon millions of so-called high-capacity magazines out there. They're in circulation, tens of millions of them. What do we do with those? So I mentioned three things. I mentioned dealing with the high-capacity magazines and the assault weapons. I mentioned the loopholes of Let's gun dealers. Stick with the magazines. I'm, but I mentioned also those? treating... Uh, guns like we treat vehicles. That's just on the supply side. Okay, but, uh, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to press you side. for specifics, sure. but since this is what you do, let me, yeah. let me press you. There are tens of millions of magazines that fit more than 10 rounds in circulation. 
people, normal people with no sure. criminal records own them. What do we do with them? I tell you what, in New York City, we're the safest city of guns we've been since 1951. I've been a leading voice in dealing with gun violence in New York City. Oh, so, so you won't answer the question. That's why nobody no. trusts the gun people, no. because we know that you're gun grabbers because Our you're not guns, straightforward. guns, again, part of the gun violence problem. I asked you this last would, time, you would not answer What would you do with the magazine? But, 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 but is that not a fair question? But no, we have to start from someplace where we all agree. No, that, that, no, no but we you don't. Want to we absolutely no, tell me do. what you think, because and then maybe you can convince me. The way you start, we'll never have a conversation. So I want to start from oh, having a conversation. Oh, you need to lie to me first, no. and then, oh, you're not going to answer a straightforward adult are you? question. Are you? I'm not lying at all. No, I'm asking, exactly are you going to answer mean. a straightforward question? I'll are, answer any question. Are guns a part of gun violence in this country? Well, of course, they're the tool that is used very often to commit so violence. So we have to start Okay. From that point. Okay, Finally, that's fine. Thank you so for agreeing. I have, thank you for agreeing. If Finally. I have a high capacity magazine in my possession, your, your definition of high capacity, and I don't want to give it up, will you take it from me? So let's take that one off the table. Why? What about the other two? Wait, why, why are we Because taking that you like to on? stick on the one that will prevent the conversation. I like to, I like to ask very simple factual no, questions. No, I mentioned and three things. And see if things. you're straightforward enough to answer them. I mentioned three things. And so the way this happens in government, People present things, but why won't and we you figure out that? because you want to get to a point where people will reject any conversation about dealing with guns. But I think all of our I want to get know to where a point. you stand. No, the they don't. Is, of course, I'm going to take it from you, and no, they you don't. If you don't give it to the, me. The, the fact of the matter is, we own, we have less than five percent of the population, and we own all the half of civilian guns okay. and 30 percent of mass shootings. But thank you for agreeing that guns are a part of gun violent problems in America. <laughs> Next time we have a conversation, I we can always get to the say what I think. In, in contrast to you, I will say. Uh, I always say what I think as well. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.